This is the TR-151TK instructional video produced by GlobalSat Technologies. Please take the Embedded Works insert card out of the box, go to the following URL. You will find yourself at this page. This is where you choose either your 3-month, 6-month, or 12-month contract for a 2-meg data plan. The 2-meg data plan is acceptable for most applications as well as the default settings of the device for 10-minute intervals. If you need more than a 2-meg data plan or 10-minute intervals, please contact US GlobalSat Incorporated. Once you have decided a 3, 6, or 12-month data plan, please add to cart. Once you have chosen your length of contract and are ready to proceed to checkout, you will find yourself at this screen. This screen, you can review your order. Once all is correct, press checkout. At the next screen is when you will enter your personal information and billing information. At the bottom of this screen, there is a comment section. In this comment section, you will enter your 15-digit SIM card ID number found on the back of the SIM card. After your registration has been completed, you will receive an email within 48 hours of completion. This email will be an online MSA contract. Once the online MSA contract has been completed and accepted, your SIM card will be live and you can start tracking. Now it's time to activate your TR-151 on the web portal. Go to the URL found at the bottom of the GPS Tracking Specialist insert card, www.gpstrackingspecialist.com forward slash USG. Once you are at that URL, you will find yourself at this screen. This screen will give you a list of features GPS Tracking Specialist has to offer. You will scroll down and then you will see your choice of a three month, a six month, or a one year subscription. You choose the length of contract that you desire, then using the drop-down menu, you choose the device you have. In this case, we have the TR-151, Add to Cart. Once you have Added to Cart, you will come to this page where you can review your order. Once all is correct, proceed to checkout. After you have added your desired length of contract to the cart, you will come to this page where you can review the order. If all is correct, proceed to checkout. At this time, if you have not created a profile or registered on gpstrackingspecialist.com, click this button for new customers. This will take you to the registration page. Enter your username or account information as well as your billing information here. And then submit info. After you have registered and completed payment on GPS Tracking Specialist web portal, you will be redirected to the following screen as well as emailed a payment receipt and login information to save for your records. At the following screen, you will enter the account owner of the device, the device user's name, the device name to easily identify the device, as well as enter the IMEI number that could be found on the back of the unit or on the side of the packaging. Make sure the device reflects the device that you have and the device type for the situation you will be using it in. Once these have been filled out and completed, click continue. Once you have completed checkout and provided GPS tracking specialists with your product information, it is now time to track your device. You can go to the portal one of two ways. One, visit gpstrackingspecialist.com and click on tracking portal at the top of the page this will take you to the login page or you can go directly to this page by going directly to track.gpstrackingspecialists.com. This is where you will enter your login information and log into your account. Once you logged in, you should get this screen. Once you log in to gpstrackingspecialist.com, you will be taken directly to the dashboard. To view your device in map mode, you click on your name or the organization name found in the center of the screen. Once that is clicked, it will take you directly to the map mode. To find your device in map mode, you click on the magnifying glass found on the left side of the page. The color next to that magnifying glass will represent your device on the map. Once the magnifying glass has been clicked, the map will refresh and show your device it will show up as a blip with the color indicated on the left side of the screen next to the magnifying glass. To scroll in, you can either use the scroll wheel on your mouse or you can use the select and zoom feature found at the top of the page. 
you click on the select and zoom button go back to your map you can create a square border around the device and let go of the mouse button it'll automatically zoom in on your device now you will be shown how to create a geofence but first you have to create an area click on the areas tab on the left side of the screen once that tab opens up at the bottom of that tab you will have an option to add an area go ahead and click add area once you've clicked add area you will have a choice of different shapes that you can make your geofence in this case we are going to use a polygon once you have selected the shape you can go back to your map and create your geofence now that your area has been created you click commit at this point you will have a chance to label that area in this case I'm going to call it area 1 save it that area has been created once your area has been created go back to the session screen that will be the first tab on the left side of the screen once you are at sessions at the bottom of that tab you will have an option for geofence click on geofence and then you will have a choice of having it as a in area or out area an in area means the device must stay within the selected parameters or you will be notified an out area means to stay out of the selected area or you will be notified in this case we will use an in area the next screen you will select the area you want to use as the geofence we just created area one click the checkbox and click on select that geofence is now active to disengage the geofence you go back to the geofence tab at the bottom of the screen you will see that in area one has a red X to it which means that it is active click on in area one and a prompt will come on the screen if you want to remove area one click OK and that will disengage that geofence now you will be shown how to use the locations feature of GPS tracking specialist the location shows the last locations of the selected device in a list view under the sessions tab click on the locations tab found at the bottom once that has been clicked you will get a list of the time the longitude the latitude the address as well as the speed of the device at that track point at the top of that tab you can change it from the last three locations to the entire session now you will be shown how to use the history feature of GPS tracking specialist web portal the history feature will allow you to search for historical data on the device and display it on the map to get to the history feature you click on the history tab found on the left side of the screen once you get to that tab you click on add to add the users you want the history search on select the checkbox next to the name and click on select found at the bottom of that box once you have clicked select you can then choose the time frame of the search in this case we will use it from Monday March 1st confirm till today March 5th confirm and then you click on search once you've clicked on search below the box you will have a list of different dates that there were track points on each date is represented by a different color to see the history on that specific date you click on the checkbox and you go back to your map the map will refresh with the data for that day zoom in on it and it'll show you the different track points of the device you can also export this data into a Excel spreadsheet with this icon right here if you'd like to get back to your dashboard from map view you click on the button in the upper right hand corner with the gauges once this has been clicked it'll take you directly back to your dashboard for a more in-depth look at the features discussed in this video as well as more features offered by GPS tracking specialist web portal please refer to your user's manual the user manual can be found on the right hand side of your dashboard in the news section as well as a link was emailed to you when you registered for GPS tracking specialist.com and that concludes our setup and instructional video for the TR 151 TK produced by GlobalSat Technologies